my dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus one of the beautiful moments of the season of lent is the time we pray the stations of the cross we look at the lord who is crucified for us we participate in the passion and death of jesus we should think of the abundant and unconditional love of jesus for each and every one of us as he carried the cross for us we should also die to our selfishness to our egoism to our arrogance pride lack of charity and then rise to new life i welcome each and every one of you this evening for the beautiful prayers that we are going to pray today's way of the cross is in the form of a prayer join me in praying to jesus join me in sharing the pain and agony of jesus as a fruit of our today's prayer may we all learn to appreciate the love of god for us more and learn to love one another more and die to our sins and rise to new life coming together as god's family let's acknowledge that we are all sinners and ask of the lord for mercy i confess to almighty god i am to you my brothers and sisters that i have committed sin in my thoughts in my words what what i have done what i have done to my fault to my fault to my most grievous fault ask you the dear virgin all the angels and saints and you my brothers and sisters to pray for me to the lord god may almighty god have mercy on us forgive us our sins and bring us to life everlasting keep in store the and we bless you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world first station jesus is unjustly condemned to death let us pray that we may become more understanding towards our neighbors Lord you are the just one yet you are judged by the unjust you once challenged the people to convict you of sin but you have become now the victim of false accusation we who condemn the weaknesses of our neighbors seldom look at ourselves we consider even the good qualities of others as defects on the other hand we justify even our defects as good qualities like the pharisee we believe ourselves to be blameless and drub the whole world as tax collectors like martha we are at times frustrated and get angry with those who sit at your feet and listen to your word sometimes we want to curtail the good things others do in your name like simon we not only while away our time ignoring our responsibility but also fail to appreciate those who love you more like judas 
we pretend to be concerned about the poor and criticize those who express their love and gratitude to you through their good deeds lord you are going to come in power and might to judge the living and the dead you understand our thoughts from afar and know every detail of our conduct help us at least hereafter to accept and understand our brothers and sisters with all their defects and goodness have mercy on us o lord have mercy may the souls of the faithful departed by the mercy of god rest in peace let us pray that we may also carry our daily crosses with him lord they caught you like a thief they abused you spat on you crowned you with thorns and mocked at you you were subjected to unjust condemnation and a cross is laid on you but you wish to fulfill the will of your father who rejoices in you you want to complete the work entrusted to you by your father therefore with joy and courage you accept the cross that is laid on you you the good shepherd are ready to lay down your life for us the sheep no one can take away your life you willingly give it so that we may have life lord now you invite us to deny ourselves and to carry the cross daily and follow you here we come to do your will may we carry our daily crosses willingly that we may have life and give life to those who love us and depend on us have mercy on us o lord have mercy have mercy on us o lord have mercy may the souls of the faithful departed by the mercy of god rest in peace amen under the weight of the cross the first time let us pray that we may lift up those who have fallen lord you walk towards calvary with so much difficulty you did not eat and drink or sleep for quite some time now you are so tired and fall down unable to bear the burdens of the cross 
it is not merely the wooden cross that pushes you down as much as our ingratitude the ingratitude of those who benefited by your ministry and the infidelity of those disciples who have been trained by you judas loved money more than he loved you his lips called you master and kissed you his heart was enslaved to 30 silver coins for peter saving his life became more important than affirming his loyalty to you our ingratitude and infidelity are the causes for so many people to fall we have through our conduct disappointed our parents who gave us life our teachers who enabled us to grow in knowledge and so many other well wishers who have great hope in us have mercy on us lord forgive us for the times we have denied and betrayed our loved ones may we not be responsible for the fall of any of our brothers and sisters may we instead lift up through our love and concern those who have fallen have mercy on us lord have mercy have mercy on us lord have mercy may the souls of the faithful departed by the mercy of god rest in peace Jesus meets his beloved mother Let us pray that we may become true disciples like mother mary who is our mother too Lord Jesus it is not by chance that you meet your mother on the way to Calvary Right from the day she said Behold the handmaid of the Lord be it done to me according to your word you are the center of her life she lives for you and with you she conceived you in her heart before she conceived you in her womb she listened to your word and practiced it and thus became an excellent example for each and every one of us she rushed to help those who were in need she prayed without ceasing she sang the praises of the almighty she was thrilled to listen to your word and to see the signs you worked as one who fulfills your will she participates in your passion as the first and the complete disciple lord thank you for giving us your mother as our example and as our intercessor help us lord to become good and faithful disciples like your mother who is our mother Have mercy on us O Lord have mercy have mercy on us O Lord have mercy may the souls of the faithful departed 
by the mercy of god rest in peace Let us pray that we may help those who are in need. Lord, you said, "Come to me, all you who labor and are overburdened, and I will give you rest." You yourself need some rest now. Those who promised that they were ready to be imprisoned and even die for you. were not near you the ones who shouted crucify him crucify him and the others who were just watching the fun had no pity on you it was only simon who returns after a hard day's work from the field who carries your cross it is true lord that he assisted you out of compulsion at the beginning but how fortunate he is to carry your cross in fact your deep faith unconditional love and forgiveness marvelous patience and perseverance would have touched the heart of simon and made him recognize you lord help us to carry one another's cross like simon and give us the generous heart to help all our brothers and sisters in need have mercy on us lord have mercy may the souls of the faithful departed by the mercy of god rest in peace by wiping his feet face let us pray that we may reduce the sufferings of the afflicted lord as you went through towns and villages we read that a few women provided you out of their resources veronica might have been one of these women and she cannot keep quiet as she looks at your face which has apparently lost its beauty due to dust sweat blood spittle she is not afraid of the crowd or the soldiers with their spears and swords boldly she wipes your face and in gratitude you gift her the image of your merciful face lord you ask us not to be discouraged in doing good give us the good heart to assist those who are suffering 
in mind and body some of our brothers and sisters are glued to the wheelchair due to sickness or accidents so many of our elderly people are bedridden there are others who are crushed down by so many burdens and are orphaned move us to do something to all this it does not matter lord how much we do or give as much as how we give you who appreciated the widow for her two copper coins will surely rejoice over our little deeds of kindness lord help us to acknowledge your presence in our brothers and sisters make us realize that it would be sinful if we do not do good when we are able to do good help us to reduce the sufferings of others through our smile encouraging words and little deeds of kindness have mercy on us lord have mercy have mercy on us lord have mercy may the souls of the faithful departed by the mercy of god rest in peace second time let us pray that we may persevere in our faith till the end lord you do not have any more strength your vision is blurred and you stumble and fall all the same you get up and continue we marvel at your perseverance lord we begin well but finish poorly we do not have any more our first love and enthusiasm we are neither hot nor cold but often tepid lukewarm when we listen to your word we accept it willingly but become rootless and lose our hope in time of temptation we are crushed by the chains of life wealth and pleasures then we die without becoming mature we do not realize like peter that you have the words of eternal life and we spend our life grumbling that it is difficult to accept your teaching we refuse to respond to you who are looking at us with love and invite us to follow you we cling on to those things that separate us from you and go away sorrowfully loving lord help us to realize with all our hearts that only those who persevere till the end will be saved have mercy on us o lord have mercy may the souls of the faithful departed by the mercy of god rest in peace
we adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. The eighth station, the women of Jerusalem weep for Jesus. Let us pray that we may think of those who suffer. Lord, women are your sensitive creation. Be they daughters, mothers or sisters. Their heart aches as they see you unjustly condemned and brutally ill-treated. They follow you weeping and lamenting. But Lord, you think of those women and of what is going to happen in a few years time to the city of Jerusalem and its inhabitants and with concern you tell the women do not weep for me rather for yourselves and for your children Lord you are not blinded by your cross so as not to see others who suffer you saved your disciples from arrest and said to the soldiers, If I am the one you are looking for, let these others go. When the high priest's servant Malchus ear was cut off, you touched him and healed him. You prayed for the forgiveness of those who persecuted you. You were very understanding towards your mother, your beloved disciple and the repentant thief as you hang on the cross. Even when you are suffering, you continue to think of others who suffer and do all that you can to reduce their sufferings. Lord, help us to follow you. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy. Have mercy on us, Lord. May the souls of the faithful departed, by the mercy of God, rest in peace. adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. The ninth station, Jesus falls under the cross a third time. Let us pray that we may seek the companionship of the Lord in times of loneliness. Lord, your shoulders are tired and weary. The hill you have to climb is a bit steep. You fall it again under the weight of the cross. You look around, even amidst the crowd. Loneliness haunts you. You find refuge, consolation and strength only in your Father. You persevere and continue your journey. You lived amidst us as one of us. You considered your disciples as your family, but most of them didn't seem to understand your feelings. When you were sweating blood in Gethsemane, they were sleeping. When you were arrested, they deserted you and fled. So many changes, advancements, 
take place in this noisy and busy world. Yet there are innumerable persons who are orphans, sick and old people who suffer loneliness. Even the powerful and the rich find themselves lonely. May our presence of concern give joy to those who are lonely. Lord, you never desert us. Help us to seek your companionship constantly and find strength in loneliness. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy. Have mercy on us, Lord. May the souls of the faithful departed by the mercy of God rest in peace. always seek the approval of God rather than that of men. Lord, after falling on the ground so many times, you finally reached Golgotha. The soldiers mercilessly strip you of your garments. You are subjected to humiliation. And you give up everything for our sake. Your garment serves as additional wage to those who persecute you. Now you become a laughing stock without any respect among those around you. Lord, we all want to be respected. Even when we fall down, we are more worry, worried about the presence of others around us than to attend to our bruises. You were a respected teacher. We can't say with certainty that even your enemies did not respect you at all. But you didn't seek your own glory. But your glory was that conferred by your father, since you always did what was pleasing to the father. We have so many masks. We think wrongly that our dress, vehicle, house, possessions raise our dignity and respect. Make us realize, Lord, that our real respect and dignity comes from our being rooted in your word and values and in our love for one another. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy. May the souls of the faithful departed, by the mercy of God, rest in peace.
the eleventh station jesus is crucified let us pray that we may become more patient lord now is the most gruesome moment of the way of the cross the hands that were extended in love are nailed to the cross the legs that walked many a mile to do good are crushed with the mallet now nothing can separate you from the cross you bear the excruciating pain lord patiently love your enemies and do good to those who hate you bless those who curse you pray for those who treat you badly or not merely your preaching you live those words as you are crucified you have done lord nothing wrong and have spoken no deceit you are insulted but you do not retaliate with insults or threaten your persecutors lord we admire your enormous patience on the other hand we lose our patience frequently not only in times of distress but also when our expectations prove futile we have hurt our parents brothers and sisters due to our impatience lord may we be inspired by your example and be more patient have mercy on us o lord have mercy may the souls of the faithful departed by the mercy of god rest in peace Jesus dies on the cross. Let us pray that we may give our life for Jesus the Lord. Lord, you feel abandoned by all during your last moments. People do not allow you to die in peace. they ask you to save yourself and come down from the cross you shout aloud my god my god why have you forsaken me the sun's light fails darkness comes over the whole world the veil of the sanctuary is torn right write down the medal you cry out in a loud voice saying father in your hands i commit my spirit you are rich yet for our sake you became poor you emptied yourself taking the form of a slave becoming as human beings are you humble yourself even to accepting death on the cross you said no one can have greater love than to lay down his life for his friends when we can hardly find anyone ready to die even for someone who is upright you died for us sinners 
and reconcile us with the father lord now we know what it means to love help us to appreciate your great love every moment of our life inspire us to live for you to die for you and to live every day for your cause have mercy on us lord have mercy may the souls of the faithful departed by the mercy of god rest in peace let us pray that we may safeguard our faith till the end lord what an unbreakable bond of love between you and your mother even if she is not frequently mentioned during your public ministry you are all the time in your mother's heart and mind She was the first person you saw as you slowly opened your eyes in Bethlehem as a small babe as you closed your eyes in Calvary little by little she is also the last person that you see when you had 12 your mother accompanied you to Jerusalem to celebrate your first pascha as you now celebrate your last pascha the same mother is present but she never imagined that you would be the sacrificial lamb no mother can bear the loss of a child even if it is due to sickness or accident how much more is the plight of your loving mother who sees you her only son unjustly crucified unto death your crucifixion unto death is the sword that pierces her heart she joins your sacrifice and suffers with you and for you she is not only the mother you have given us but also our sister and friend in the pilgrimage of faith help us lord to believe like her even if everything seems hopeless for your mercies are not over your deeds of faithful now love not exhausted every morning they are renewed great is your faithfulness have mercy on us lord have mercy may the souls of the faithful departed by the mercy of god rest in peace
the 14th station jesus is buried let us pray that we may rest after fulfilling our responsibility lord you suffered all alone even your lifeless body is to some extent orphan when your cousin john the baptist was murdered his disciples hurried to bury him it is unfortunate that your close disciples did not have the courage and gratitude to do the same for your body finally joseph of arimathea nicodemus and a few faithful women do the needful to your dead body now you sleep in peace since you accomplished the work entrusted to you by your father people could only bury your body but they can't bury your high values they can't bury the truth we too will one day have to die and be buried may we fulfill the task that you have given to us faithfully every day may you be glorified through the works of those who were the beneficiaries of our ministry may we continue to live even after our death through our faith and good deeds may we consider every day as our last day and do your will and rest in you have mercy on us lord have mercy may the souls of the faithful departed by the mercy of god rest in peace dear brothers and sisters if only jesus is not risen from the dead then our making the way of the cross is meaningless the final station is always the resurrection there may be so many sufferings but everything should be seen in the light of resurrection though we are going to formally celebrate the resurrection and preparing ourselves these days in a week's time we have to think also of the risen lord and pray for a few moments lord you are not the god of the dead but of the living the tomb cannot imprison you who are the source of life everlasting it is not deception but justice that finally triumphs your father raises you from the dead the empty tomb your apparition to your dear ones their bold witness to what they experienced and your abiding presence in every gathering of our communities proclaim emphatically that you are risen and victorious if you have not been raised lord our faith is pointless all that we suffer in the present time is nothing in comparison with the glory that is destined for us lord make us realize the fleeting character of the sufferings that we need to endure in our pilgrimage of faith help us to rejoice always pray without ceasing 
and in everything to give thanks to you may we not any more live for ourselves but for you who died and were raised to life we conclude the way of the cross by praying for the intention of the holy father and then we get special indulgences when we pray for the holy father's intentions our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil hail mary full of grace god is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning now and ever shall be world without end amen parche do mine parche popolo tu ne ne te no iras ka